Hey guys, so it is 1 a.m. Um, my wonderful son is still awake at 1 a.m. with me, and we are getting ready to make some buttery biscuits. Obviously keto friendly, uh, because I want to just have them on hand really quick for like grab and goes, or you know, for when my kids want something and I don't really buy a lot of bread, so this is something good that they can just put some butter on or some, you know, jelly and just eat it. So we are going to get ready to make them. This is all the stuff that we're going to be using, and I will come back with the finish, or I'll come back when I have it in the pan, and then I'll come back when it's finished. So we'll be back. That's what they look like before they go in the oven. I know they don't look pretty, but I'm hoping that they taste bomb. And it made 12, just barely. Some are bigger than others, but that's okay. I like a little treat. Now, my handsome son is opening up the oven. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot, son. And we're sticking those in and baking for 12 to 13 minutes. Start with 12 minutes and see where that goes, but we'll be back with the finished product, guys. Product. Look how yummy those look. Ouch. Probably shouldn't touch that. That was my bad. I was just really excited. <laughs> But look like how yummy they look, and they're nice and like browned on top. Oh, I'm so excited. So, when these cool down, my son wants to try one, and then we will come back and tell you how they taste. Right, so, my son is getting ready to try it, and here we go. Go ahead, take a bite, bud. How is it? It's really, really good. Um, I don't really taste the butter, but I really taste the egg, and... Yes, it's really, really good. Cool. Heard it first. Keto mom, keto kid, tested approved. Hey guys, good morning. It is 10.33. I got off work this morning at 6. I made breakfast for the hubby, or lunch, actually, lunch and breakfast. Um, he went to work, and my kids let me sleep until now. Um, they woke me up a little while ago, um, wanting to play, and wanting to, you know, eat, and... Um, just, you know, the, the regular things that kids do every day. So, um, I, I guess I'm gonna get up, well, I guess I am up now, and I, I'm gonna try to go ahead and sleep again later, uh, maybe when my daughter goes on for a nap, but I do have a lot to do today. I gotta go to Costco and just get some more, like, essentials. I need to stock up on the eggs, because we're going through eggs right now like crazy people. Um, my daughter needs more milk, um, and we need more diapers, because she's still in pull-ups. And we just, I have a few things that I want to go ahead and take care of this morning um, before it gets too hot and too late. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. And then I am going to go ahead and prep some of those um, little muffins that I made this morning with my son and make them into my little sandwiches. I'm going to have two of them. So once I do that, I will be back and I will show you what they look okay, like. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I have two slices of bacon per and I just cut them in half. Um, as you can see, put one side here, one side here. I only made one egg and I just cut it in half. And then you just put them like this. And they are these cute little sandwiches. So I am excited and my daughter just stole a piece of bacon because she is in love with bacon. But that is totally okay. So that's just how they are and I am assuming they're gonna be delicious. My son has already tried um, the bread, the, um, the little muffins. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these and then um, we are gonna get ready and head out to Costco, and then I shall be back later with whatever I'm gonna eat for lunch. I and mean, it's currently 11 a.m., so I'll be back. Hey guys, so it's about 1:20. The kids and I just got back from Costco. Um, we got, I mean, I got a couple things that I know I needed. I got more eggs. I got five dozen eggs. I got uh, the pre-hard boiled eggs because I feel like when I hard boil them for whatever reason, um, when my daughter peels them, the shell is like ridiculous to get off. Um, we got milk for my daughter because she definitely needs milk. I got some romaine um, hearts lettuce because, you know, I need them. I think I'm making, like, uh, tacos one night and I want to use that as, like, my little um, boat or something. Um, I can't really even remember. Oh, I got bacon. Bacon is essential. Always get bacon at Costco. It's so cheap. It's so delicious. I just get their brand. It's good. Um, and then I did notice on their eggs, their big five dozen eggs, they're now cage-free, so that's awesome. They used to just be, like, generic eggs. And, um, I mean, I just got some essentials. My husband needed more barbecue sauce. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I didn't get a whole lot. Oh, we needed diapers, so I obviously got diapers. But we didn't get a whole lot. Um, again, it's, like, 120, and I'm not hungry yet. 
Um, I took my kids to the McDonald's drive-thru because my daughter was saying that she was hungry, so I got her something to eat. But, um, yeah, it's 120. I'm not really hungry because I had something to eat around, like, 10, 10.30ish. Um, so as of now, I'm just going to kind of relax and just take it easy, drink some water because it's getting hot again. Um... I'm thinking maybe a salad in a little bit, like salad with some chicken and some bacon that I already have prepped and maybe an avocado. Mm, that actually sounds really good. So maybe around 2.30, so maybe another hour or so, and I'll probably get down to eating a salad um, and or the chicken wings that I had last night because I do have some chicken wings left over, but I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. Um, maybe I'll have the chicken wings for lunch and then I'll have salad for dinner or either or maybe... I don't know. We'll see. I don't really know what I'm in the mood for. I'm not really in the mood to eat because it's so hot outside. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, my day. We just got back from Costco and I just wanted to fill you guys in. Say hi, mama. Mm. <laughs> She's so funny. But yeah, so I will be back when I eat something, guys. Hey guys, so it is 2.40 now and I have actually decided against the salad and the wings. Um, I decided to make this. It's uh, two boiled eggs with some Kerrygold butter, um, some guac, and then these are those basil pesto cheese crisps. Uh, I just have three of them, so they broke, so I kind of just put them around. And then I needed some more fat because I was like looking at my fitness pal, checking out my macros. So I am now prepping two of those like sausage or turkey or pork patties from Great Value, the breakfast ones, and to get some more fat in. Um, and then, I don't know, I'm kind of like, I'm really not hungry, but I know I need to eat, I need to force myself to eat in order to stay in ketosis and to really, like, get my macros up there because I've kind of been slack in the past couple days. I haven't had enough fat, and I think that's why I'm kind of, like, stalling out. I haven't really lost any more weight, um, but yeah, and then I was doing some research last night, um, on my lunch break and, and on my, like, regular breaks at work on keto because I'm kind of getting repetitive with the food and I kind of want to change it up and see what the best way is to go about um getting into keto and what supplements I should be taking and you know um all of that basically getting back into the basics of keto uh because I think I kind of went a little a little out there um so I'm trying to get back to basics so I can start progressively losing weight and then maybe start implementing, you know, sweet treats and things. Kind of like what Katie was saying, you want to get back into basics. So I was doing tons and tons and tons of research last night. I even took um, a 45 minute class last night. I can't remember the name of it um, because I was doing so many different things, but I'll definitely uh, put it down below what I did. Um, and they sent me all kinds of great information that I'm still reading up on and I'm taking notes on it and I'm just basically reprogramming my brain to get back into the basics. So I would uh, I would think that this is a basic meal. I mean, it's just two eggs, Kerrygold butter, some guac, some cheese crisps, two pork patties, two breakfast pork patties. So great fat, some great protein, just everything, good fiber and basic keto foods is what I'm going for. Um, so yeah. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm just making myself some food. It's 2.43. I put my daughter down for a nap. Finally, she's sleeping. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and eat that and then drink some more water because I am like just, I feel like I'm getting dehydrated. But I want to show you guys the water that I've been drinking lately. And I had to go to, when I went to Costco, I restocked up on this water because I really feel like this water is, it's doing something for me because um, I normally drink. I don't like to drink regular bottled water, even though that's, I do have it um, for like when I go out or if my kids need water when we go out, I definitely take one with me. If I can get this thing open, I'll do it. Um, but Costco's got this great alkaline water. It's 9.5 plus pH plus electrolytes. It's called the Perfect Hydration Water. They say that a 9.5 pH, if you guys can see that chart right there, they say that that is the perfect hydration that your body needs. So I've definitely been drinking a lot of this water um, and I love it uh, I think this water tastes great it's got some really great flavor um, it's just it's water but it, it's great tasting water and I love the way it tastes sorry guys I'm trying to flip these pork patties but um 
it's just awesome. If you guys have it at your local Costco or even at like your local grocery store, because there's another brand that I get. It's called Essentia that I normally get at my local Sprouts, which is um, an indoor farmer's market. That's great water too. It's got 9.5 uh, plus pH. That is hot sun. And it's great water. So I recommend trying either this water, which is called Perfect Hydration, or Essentia, which is a, another um, water that has 9.5 plus pH in it with electrolytes. It's great water. Let me know if you guys have tried it or what water you guys like. Sometimes if I feel I need a little extra something, I'll put a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt in my water. But lately I've just been drinking it just like that and I ran out. So I went to Costco today and picked some more up and I'm excited. But I'll be back later guys when I eat right, something else. So it is 6.13 p.m. and I am getting ready to take my Vitafusion Fiber Well Sugar Free Gummies because I definitely don't get in enough fiber, which I'm gonna start because I am gonna get hubby to go to the store and get some spinach because I'm gonna start um, probably making spinach omelets because that sounds bomb. I was, I've was i been looking at Pinterest all day, so I've got a lot of good recipes that I, I'm gonna have coming up. So, but this is what's going on right now. And again, well now it's 6.14 p.m. So this is what's going down. Hey guys, so it's about 7.16 and I'm getting ready to have a serving of dry, or roasted and salted edamame. So one third uh, cup is one serving. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and I'm probably not gonna eat dinner cause I'm really not like super hungry. I don't want anything filling. So I'm just gonna eat these little edamames and be happy and drink the rest of my water. And then I have work tonight. So if I do eat anything else though, I'll definitely be back guys. Hey guys, it's 1040. I'm just gonna finish this bottle. Um, I'm working and not eating anything else until the morning, so I'll be back tomorrow.